Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Esther and this week I'm spending in Cinque Terre. And this vlog and this video will be a little bit different from what I usually do. And it's just gonna be different. You just I'm just going with the flow and I don't really record anything this way and I didn't do it before this way but I hope you like it and it's helpful and I'm spending this week in Cinque Terre which is um, a coastal national park in Italy and it contains five different villages and I just went here for an art retreat and it's been so far really good and I and really refreshing and I'm really glad I took this trip and yeah that's where I am right now and what I'm doing basically just ref just basically I don't know having a good time eating good food painting a lot uh, it's an art retreat so and in this video I'm gonna share with you how I do trips like that how much it cost me um, art collaboration I'm doing, also like how I do art on the go, like what are art supplies I brought with me, what works for me better in trips like that, and how much it cost me to take a week off and do such a trip. So stay tuned and before we get into it, make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you will not miss any of my new videos. I do a lot of helpful tips for aspiring artists and just if you're an artist it's a lot of helpful information that you can use and I also do like travel vlogs and just share my life and what I do so that's it. <laughs> So it's basically a really interesting story how I got here because I have no idea this place exists and it's ridiculous because it's like one of the most touristy and like one of the most beautiful places on earth and like I mean in the whole Europe but I I think in earth too like just in general in the world it's like one of the most romantic beautiful inspiring places that you can find That's where I arrived. I don't know what I'm doing here. It's super beautiful. But it's just like such a random trip. Okay, let the journey begin. Let's try this one. I'm super high fashion with the socks because I just get cold. So. East on Piazza Rio Finale. blessed and I'm super grateful to be here and especially in this season uh, thanks to Corona <laughs> that like there's no tourists and there's like mostly local so it's like Italy Italia I'm, I'm sorry speaking Italian a little bit Italy feels like way more authentic and real and that's what I really love and enjoy about this trip and about the quarantine in general 
um, I do feel a little bit guilty about about just being so excited about quarantine, but it's just like so true that it's like so different and like way more authentic and way more real and you just like I got to see locals in their life and like every time I'm passing by people that like living here in villages and like start like greeting me and it just feels like way more personal so I really love this about uh, this type of traveling So yeah, when I just got to Italy, uh, the first painting I created in Florence was this like couple on front of this building, which is like right next to my apartment right now, and it's ridiculous. Like the town, I mean the village called Rio Maggiore, Rio Maggiore. No, I don't know if I'm saying it right, but it's like such a beautiful place, and I didn't know it exists before this trip. And I mean, I didn't like when I was creating this painting, it was just like a random sword that I found in Pinterest. And I just like thought it's good and it's beautiful. And I wasn't even like sure it's somewhere in Italy. I think I just picked the source and I just like felt an urge to, to paint it. So I did. And uh, yeah, it was it called, it, I called this painting Italian Symphony. And it was like my first impression about Italy, but I didn't know anything about this place. And like a couple of weeks ago, when I was thinking like, okay, if I'm staying here longer and I have to work for Academy and it's getting more intense with like planner courses coming up, I really need to time off just to be alone and maybe create some art, just not being in the office, not being in the Academy for a while, because it's like creative job, but it's still like it's draining a little bit. Uh, when you like all of the time just like running and like doing stuff so it was just like a perfect timing and like i took a week off from all the work i'm doing for academy and i decided i'm just gonna go and explore and i looked up like the close by places and i discovered this like this building i just painted when i got to italy it's actually like real place and it's in Italy and it's like a couple hours away from where I am, am, which is Florence, um, obviously. So I just like, I didn't think much after it. I'm like, just like, it's meant to be because I painted that and like, um, what you paint is what you get. And I just like, I painted this place and when I discovered like, it's so close, I'm like, I have to go there especially because it's like, super easy to travel inside of Italy and now it's like not really lots of things happening and there's not like no tourists and rent is cheap so that's what happened and I'm super excited about I was super excited I'm still excited and I actually I was about to leave today but I extended my trip for two more days because it's just like unbearably beautiful and I just I can't get enough I was thinking I don't need to be in Florence for weekend so I extended this trip and yeah so that's basically me talking about how excited I am but there is like more information in this video that there like, has to be something more helpful and more like um, I know it's a vlog but it's a tip video as well so my tips for traveling like this and just like having the full experience of traveling and being an artist and traveling is uh, don't book expensive places. So in this situation, I'm I'm I was really lucky because I booked simpler hostel and that's what I usually do uh, when I travel alone. This is a soap, and this is a dryer, and this is a washer, and I have no idea how to use it, because it's different than the one in Florence. Because it's really like, it saves you a lot of money, and also like you are able, if you're traveling alone anyway, 
like hostels just like the way to like find new friendships and get to know people across the world like with the same I don't know gypsy free spirit traveler mindset which is like really fun so I'm here in Amagiorno and so far I really love it and it's probably one of the most beautiful places I've ever been to also I never had any troubles and like it always has been like really safe and really nice and one of the advantages um, it's like it's way cheaper than the apartment but it has like all the qualities of the apartment basically because you got the kitchen you can cook food if you don't like want to eat out all of the time and it's I know it has like balcony like my hostel has balcony and the fun thing is that like I'm staying alone in the whole hostel like by myself right now because of the current time which is like not good for the local business but ended up being like really nice to me so I'm super grateful and but if you are staying with, with like other people it's all also like fun and advantage of like uh, having a hostel not hotel but like a hotel you don't really have like a kitchen I don't know, it just, it's a waste of money, from my experience. Here she comes, not from the main entrance, but... <laughs> 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 bravo, okay. bravo, bravo, Jill. Jill, 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 we are 5,000, now we is only 5,000, for I want 10,000, and I will try to put into the What do you think about that? It's cool. <laughs> it's cool. You gonna push this guy? I totally want to. <laughs> Tourist season is not open yet. Hey, dude. Guys, ten, nine, eight. This is a crazy man. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go! Woo! <laughs> okay, <laughs> you go, Monica. <laughs> nice. So, yeah, I'm not living the most luxury life, okay? I got like messages in my Instagram and YouTube all of the time. I mean, all of the time. Every time I travel and I post something from my traveling, I got messages from people saying that like, I'm just like so lucky and I just like rich. <laughs> <laughs> and like, it's so funny because like I'm living a luxury life. And I do, like I do agree, like it's, an advantage and it's a blessing to live life like that but I just want to clarify that it's not something uh, that ju I just got or like I don't have a bunch of money I basically like all the money I got from my, like the sales and paintings and like all the other things I do I like immediately reinvest and in, like back into my art business and also like I invest part of it into traveling but I travel like really lightly as I said, like I'm staying in hostels, like I cook most of the time my own food. Like I, I do go out, but I don't like eat out every day. And I just like, there is like multiple ways how you can save on traveling and like still get like the full experience. And sometimes like in most cases, it will be like even more unique and authentic experience in my opinion. So that's my point. Is it good? Yeah. You didn't try it yet. It smells amazing. I think the luxury part of my luxury life, like the most luxury part, would be like not having money or like free, but just or freedom or whatever you call it. Yeah, or like because I don't have savings or other things but like 
my luxury life will be in a way that I just able and like it's all about like your perspective and like your priorities and it's most of the time it's all about just like having like um, courage like bravery to just go and do what you really feel like doing because there's like so many uh, thoughts and like opinions uh, fluttering in the air that like you have to save up you have to like be steady you have to be like I don't know just secure like you have to buy a house you have to buy a car you have to like have a regular job and like all of that and I got it I understand like there is like a point in it but there is like probably a way you can get like um, you can have more money like later on in your life or you can have house later on in your life but you will not have the advantage back and here we go again trying to paint in this weird weather it's like sunny and then it's cloudy and then the weather don't know what it's doing and you will not have this like period when you like you're not married you don't have kids you don't have so many responsibilities so like why not use this time to just invest in yourself and in your heart and your soul and however you call it just like an experience and because traveling enrich your life in so many different ways it makes you more of a human being and i really love like what uh, my friend monica said that there's like a saying in slovakian language that as more languages you speak in like as more countries you travel like as more times human you are which i really can relate to this because it has been like so true in my own experience and in my own life like every time i travel it just makes my art like way more like unique and colorful and authentic and it makes me uh like more of a human being like and more whole and more uh happy and just i don't know like i see word from the different angles and i really able to process and to observe like everything i have and everything i do and like who am i and like where i'm going so i would definitely like recommend trying like if traveling and it's something like you really want to do in your life like i just would suggest like go for it and don't like don't think twice because there's a way you can make it like um affordable i think it's like uh, nowadays it's like basically affordable to anyone and there's like a way to save up on your travels that's my baby collect your ticket and you don't have to be rich to travel the world it's just it's just like a bravery it's just a courage to um, like follow your dreams I guess really fun thing that my friend from Instagram Monica Hrico you can go and follow her on Instagram and just like look it up her art she's amazing um, she joined me for this trip because she lives in Italy currently and like in different regions but she was able to come down and spend three days three or four days with me here in Rio Maggiore which I'm really thankful for. Uh, it's like, it's really interesting because you make friends on Instagram and you think, like, it just, and some, sometimes you're just like able to connect and with people all around the world, like through Instagram and then everywhere you go, you have friends and which is like really fun. And here we go again, just guys look where I am. It's the last village that I didn't get to see yet, so I arrived here today and before that I arrived to a different village that I already have been to to see one of my new friends and she's from UK and she's an artist, intuitive artist in a way and she creates like lots of really stunning pieces, really like raw earth, beautiful art and I got a chance to see her studio 
and I'm gonna show you in a minute what it looks like but I'm really grateful for everything I got to experience in this trip so far and it has been like really really nice time that's really lovely so I'm visiting uh, one of the local artists here in the Bernaza area, Cinque Terre and that's her little lovely studio her name is Susie and she's from UK, right? Hi! <laughs> You're from UK, right? Yeah and you live in Italy for how many years? Ooh, about 18 now Oh, that's a long time I know, it is a long time but and anyway, you can see how beautiful it is here It's so beautiful! Guys, just look, it's just the best art studio view like so magnificent, like really lovely. So I love that textured uh, sections of everything. So it's all about recycling and reusing and just sort of enjoying the texture. I love that. So it's more like conceptual idea. Um, more abstract in general because before they were very they were, they were more sort of sea like you know like this one you can actually see but but i just love like the, the colors have changed now especially with these deep oranges and i, I just love color and texture and yeah there's sand there's plaster there's glue there's there's that uh... and it's interesting how instagram connects us all and how you can like never actually meet person in person like how you can yeah i know how to say it like how you can never meet any like someone in person but then like once you do it's like it's it immediately clicks and it's like you're meeting your old friend and it's like has been a really interesting experience because uh i was like really able to connect with her and uh, I was like just feeling this is like someone I would really and definitely like share in my art retreat with, which was like really fun and it it was like truly an art retreat like we did so much art and it's like was amazing and yeah I'm really thankful that she was able to join me actually it's like it's really interesting because uh, I'm in a way like inspired her to do a mastery program and that's like when she like discovered herself like after taking the program from the London Institute and like her life like kind of took a different direction and now she's like an artist too which is like really special and just like spending time in places like that with other creative people and other artists is just like such a unique and um, really like fulfilling experience which I'm really thankful for. We had like such a great time. Um, yeah, thank you, Monica. <laughs> there is two ways to save on hostels. Like I think I paid under 200 euros per like the whole week because it's like around 25, 30 per night in the hostel. And again, like I usually like in the morning, I usually just like buy fruits in the local market and like croissants and something like that. And then I go to the local bar and like another trip, like trick, trip, tip. Another trip will be, um, if you want to save up a little bit, just like don't sit down in the bar until you just like um, stay at the counter, drink your coffee at the counter and it will be like double less. But also like if you sit down, like, it's still like if you don't go like, to the restaurant, but, like go to the local bar it's like the same quality of coffee but it's like way cheaper this is my last day in the beautiful Rio Maggiore and I'll show you just in a minute beautiful view I'm getting from here and it just the most magnificent and beautiful place and reaching from everything that I have seen before 
and it's so sad to leave but I have to go back to Florence but it was truly a magical time yeah so that's a way to and there is people walking while I'm filming which is okay so yeah go to the bar or just like go to some place that like locals go don't go to like fancy tourist places because it's going to be expensive but go to the places of like kind of like hidden inside of the village or inside of the town and have like more people in and just do like more authentic too because that's like where locals go so we definitely recommend that and another like really interesting experience for me was that even people like struggling right now financially like economic has been like really great like has have not been really great lately because of the corona so like people like basically losing their businesses and losing lots of money and like again i'm saying like i'm the only person like staying in the hostel uh in the most touristic place right now which like usually um tend to be like fully packed so it's interesting that like the owner was saying like to his friends uh, he wasn't Italian but like I luckily I got translation so he was like saying that like it's really sad that like he always like he had like everything packed in the season and now it's just like me and Monica st staying in the hostel and before that like I was alone and now I'm alone again um, but in the same time like he twice probably around like I think yeah two times he offered me like a free breakfast and he did he didn't want to like take money from me for like my coffee and croissants and, like which was like a really nice gesture and like it makes me like feel really special and also like just like think bigger about how we all like are together in this and how we can support each other and how like humans to like staying human and like being like super welcoming and genuine and generous uh, no matter like what circumstances they're going through and like what they face uh, which is like really interesting experience Italy like so far has been really sweet to me and I just I can't get enough and I can't like I don't know like it's so hard to put into words but I'm feeling like kind of in a flow right now that's why I'm like sharing all of that in like this type of format because I know I will not make it this way if I like gonna film it in the studio now more about art my tip about art supplies will be bring more art supplies and clothes like pack lightly don't pack everything you have but like don't underestimate your desire to paint when you're traveling because I don't know, maybe for you it's different, but for me, like, I always end up missing art supplies. And here in the village, because I'm staying in the village, and, like, you have to take a train to get to the close by, like, town or city. And there's, like, obviously no art supply stores in the village, because <laughs> they don't even have, like, a supermarket, which was, like, really interesting experience as well. I don't really pack any clothes because I always end up buying clothes so my tip will be don't pack clothes at all like just take a couple things like one sweater one pair of jeans like a couple t-shirts and that's it because I personally and most of the people end up while traveling and like especially having like all this like handmade like craft stores like you for sure gonna like end up buying stuff so don't buy clothes I mean, buy clothes, buy clothes locally, it's usually like really good price point and it's really like, again, authentic and unique. So like don't pack clothes, pack art supplies because you don't want to regret, like you're going to regret if you don't pack enough art supplies and they're like super hard to get in such areas. So I brought my easel, my like uh, lightest version easel that like I showed in previous videos. And I bought, I brought a couple canvases. I brought my travel set. Hold on, like water refillable brushes. I just want 
great if I can show you. So I brought this. This is like super travel version. It's like literally fits into my pocket. And I'm really happy about this. I kind of regret I didn't like brought um, my big watercolor set because I thought like, oh well, I'm taking acrylics with me and I'm gonna collaborate and I'm taking canvases so I do not have enough time to paint landscapes in my sketchbook, which I ended up doing. And uh, it will be somewhere like more of, anyway, I ended up doing like, oops, lots of things like this. And I actually regret not taking like proper watercolor set because I was doing so many sketches, like just so many, and I'm missing having my like 36 color water, like watercolor set, which is like not bigger. It's like even smaller than the sketchbook, but I didn't bring it, and I I brought my pocket size one, which is like still fun. The goal for this art retreat, I'm gonna call it, my personal art retreat was to do as much art as I can. That's why I still brought the sketchbook and I ended up actually like doing a lot of like urban sketches and like watercolor sketches and even like having minimum like art supplies for sketching and I had like liners and like refillable brushes and some like maybe 12 colors of watercolor. But yeah, I wish I had more but it was good and it's like it's definitely enough and I did a lot a lot of sketching and I really do enjoy just I feel like it's enrich your travel experience because you just absorb the place and you're able like every time you go back to your sketchbook you're able to remember every feeling every smell every sensation like your experiences back then when you like was in this place it's like immediately makes your travel experience like way more intense and I don't know it's hard to explain you just get to go with it and try it and let me know <laughs> if it's the same way for you. Another fun thing was actually collaboration. So before I went on the trip I thought that like I really want to collaborate with some kind of like hotel or restaurant or like I don't know taverna and just paint for them and also it could be like a tip for traveling and for like every time you do like a mirror or like you offer to the like cafe or restaurant uh, to paint for them like they usually all love it and they provide you at least like one free dinner or like here I was like super blessed they like every time like basically every time I come there like it's just like all for free and it's like really fancy restaurant like it's it it just like has been like really good I'm I'm so blessed I don't know I like before my trip I emailed like I found all the like restaurants that like I thought like were cool in the area and like I emailed all of them and I asked if like they're interested in collaboration and just like send a couple of my works and only like this one replied and it's actually and like i ended up like creating some artwork for them which is like really cool because they're like probably the most like fanciest and like interesting uh, location wise and like quality wise um, restaurant in like the whole Jinpatera area and they have like a beautiful view so I painted this with like wooden boards that like they will use as decoration after and it's like the owner was really nice. He offered me like lots of like cool things, multiple dinners and stuff. So I am just, yeah, and he like provided me all the freedom to actually paint wherever I want. So I wasn't like locked into like you have to paint this or that. I just like had the whole freedom. So basically I just painted the view I saw from that restaurant. like in my own like expressive decorative way but it just I don't know it's it made it like so special and like just connecting to people and like having conversation and like getting to know like how they run their business and 
what their dreams and goals are and like how passionate they are about like what they're doing has been like really interesting and yeah people here are like super kind and supportive which is like really um, makes me feel special again <laughs> so yeah that's how this trip went so far and I'm staying for a couple more days uh, after I finish filming I'm probably gonna film you some view like the view I have from here and like I'm seeing the ocean all the time and it's just so powerful and I don't know it just like makes me feel this like there's like something bigger than myself in all of these journeys and it's just has been like really special really special trip and I'm really thankful for it another tip just if you travel in Europe buy tickets like uh, I know like no one actually checks them out but do buy them because I had like kind of a like I got into trouble yesterday and I was like crying the whole day because I mean not the whole day but it's like kind of like ruined my day because it's the only one time I didn't buy tickets because I I have to ride like two minutes and the ticket machine was like it was broken so it's like a sad information only and I cannot purchase the tickets and I really have to go like to the different village to collaborate like with this restaurant so I decided like it's two minute ride like um, like there is no tickets available like ticket office is closed like what can I do and it's like it's gonna be okay because the ticket office is closed but I ended up like being like fined <laughs> 50 something euros which is I was like not expecting and I was like really frustrated because I was trying to explain that the ticket office wasn't working but they didn't care and I mean it's not a huge amount of money but it's still it just like how the situation went like uh, in general like made me feel not that good it's just life life happens and it's okay it's a good lesson learned okay guys so basically I, I think it's that's it <laughs> for this vlog i tried to film for you some process videos of how i was painting outdoors and just like to show you some materials that i took with me so okay last last tip uh try to communicate in the in the language of the country I didn't pay much attention to this point before but here in Italy like I think it's the first country in my first experience when like no one is able that good understand English which is frustrating but it has been really interesting like learning some phrases in Italian and it's really interesting how if you at least start a conversation in Italian you say a couple of words and you're just being polite and smiling and like actually like every time you make eye contact you smile and you say buongiorno or salve um, people just like open up even more and if you're trying to order food or just like basic things if you do it in Italian like people are way more open and as like for the bars and restaurants and you will just will end up like paying way less because it in a way saves you money if you at least try to communicate in the language of the country um, it's just like interesting tip it's actually a tip like learn at least a couple of phrases if you if you know like you're gonna spend some time in the country and you don't wanna and you like want deeper deeper experience and you don't know don't wanna like pay more than locals are paying I guess that's it for today I guess and yeah I do believe really that everyone, every single one of you, if you want to be an artist and you want to travel, it's 100% possible. It just like in your mind and just make it happen. It's like it doesn't matter like the country you're coming from and like your income because again, I, I will repeat, it's all about priorities. Like if you want to do that like you will find ways to do that and you will find ways to do it in a low budget and every time you take this leap of faith and if it's like something that like it's in your destiny and it's something like you meant to do like it just will happen and 
um, I know God will provide and it will just be enriching experience and it just that's just how it was for me and that's what I know and what I could share you are always just like one decision away from a totally different life so that's what I had for today yeah so that's what I had for today and thank you so much for watching um, let me know in the comment section down below what do you think about this walk and if it's actually something if it's like the format you prefer or do you prefer like more studio film videos or I just like I want to hear your ideas and thank you so much again and I will see you guys next week bye bye unfortunately via the Anamora which is a walk of love as you can see from all these blocks it's close I'm not meant to walk on it